This video uses SOLIDWORKS Composer to show how a spray bottle is assembled as well as how it works. The first step in the assembly of the head of the spray bottle is to place the non-return valve inside the piston. The spring is then inserted between the stop and the piston. That subassembly then gets inserted into the casing. The trigger is installed next by inserting the two pins on it into the holes in the casing. The two arms of the trigger are inserted underneath the piston. When the trigger is squeezed, it lifts up on the piston until the spring is compressed against the stop within the cylinder. In the model, the spring has been hidden to clearly demonstrate the action of the piston. The compression distance also determines how far the trigger can be squeezed. This creates a smaller volume within the main cylinder, which forces whatever is in the cylinder out through the nozzle. When the trigger is released, the spring forces the piston back down, which draws in liquid from the bottle. This liquid fills up the cylinder and will be released through the nozzle the next time the trigger is squeezed. The non-return valve within the cylinder piston assembly prevents any liquid from going back into the bottle once it is drawn up into the cylinder. The next step is to insert a ball valve onto the end of the piston. This has little ball bearings inside that also act as a one-way valve to prevent liquid from going back into the bottle once it has been drawn up the tube which would be inserted next. The on-off nozzle and the cover to the casing are then added to the assembly. Finally, liquid can be added to the container and the entire sprayer head assembly can be screwed into the bottle. I hope that this video is clear in showing how a spray bottle works and is assembled using SOLIDWORKS Composer.